Tonight at 11, police in North Haven now say it was an elderly drunk driver that hit and badly hurt a jogger there this afternoon. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg, and Craig is off. That jogger was only 21 years old. He's in critical condition. News 8's Stephanie Simone is live in North Haven. Stephanie. And Darren, police say that man is fighting for his life in the hospital with two broken legs and severe trauma to his face. Meanwhile, we just learned an hour ago that man behind the wheel, police say, was drunk. A sneaker sits in the road. It's a grim reminder as police piece together just how a 21-year-old jogger was hit by a truck. Oh, that is so sad. That is so sad. After hours of investigating, police say it turns out 72-year-old Theodore Spaulding was drunk behind the wheel. Around 2, police say he hit the North Haven man. Spaulding stopped and pulled over. Two nurses and a doctor happened to be driving by and helped the man who suffered two broken legs and severe trauma to his face. Do you think that those two nurses and doctor just happening to be there probably saved this person's life? There's a good chance of that, yes. Witnesses say they saw police giving Spalding a sobriety test. Police took him into custody. A scary scenario for one North Haven runner, knowing one bad decision can dramatically change lives. Well, I watch out. I don't expect people to watch out for me. I'm really careful. Cars are coming. I, I'll go off the road. You know, I'm very careful. It only takes a second for someone to take their eyes off the road, and they speed. Spalding is being charged with driving under the influence and second degree assault with a motor vehicle. He's due in court tomorrow. He's being held on a $100,000 bond. Meanwhile, that victim in critical condition tonight, and police say they're not releasing his name because they still need to notify some of his next of kin. We are live in North Haven. Stephanie Simone, News 8.